Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you have the time of your life. Well, good morning. Welcome to Edgecombe Community College's 2015 Commencement Exercises. Today, the college will award 621 associate degrees, diplomas, and certificates to 471 graduates. Some graduates are receiving as many as five credentials. This is the largest number of credentials Edgecombe Community College has ever conferred in graduation. In addition, 28 individuals will receive adult high school equivalency and adult high school diplomas. What an accomplishment. You've all worked so hard to be here and I'm glad to see each of you. I have several special guests here that I want you to know about and I'd like to uh, introduce them. Um, we have several members of our board of trustees. Uh, you've heard from Jean Bailey uh, just a minute ago. Uh, over here, uh, Jesse Jones, Helen Collins, Dr. Jerry Price, and Jerry Spruill are here from our board. Thank you for being here. We also have um, Malin Deloach, who's a member of our foundation board. Malin, thank you for being here. Commencement is the pinnacle of the academic year. Graduates, you're ready to move on with your lives and do great things. Thank you for letting us share in your demons. Family, friends, and special guests, let me also thank you for your support of these graduates and the college and for your presence here this morning. Good morning. In 1985, the State Board of Community Colleges initiated the Excellence in Teaching Award. This program recognizes faculty who exemplify the highest standards of instruction. Edgecombe Community College has recognized teaching excellence since 1987. The college selects a teaching award winner who initiates innovative teaching methods interacts successfully with students, 
demonstrates leadership beyond the classroom and exhibits unselfish devotion and significant contributions to the student, the college, and the system. Today, the Edgecombe Community College Foundation is recognizing the 2015 Excellence in Teaching Award recipient. To make the presentation is Karen Andrus, Executive Director of the Foundation. Puts students first. One in a million would call and check on me to see if I was okay while battling cancer and attending treatments. These are some student comments about the 2015 Excellence in Teaching Award recipient. Peer comments include, seeks what is best for the student, extremely passionate, has served the college with a willing and positive attitude and with enormous commitment and determination. Makes use of an external, extreme external background and brings authentic examples to the classroom. This faculty member works diligently to adapt his teaching style to meet the needs of the students, to ensure student success. He is adamant about being accessible to students and makes himself available to all of his students, whether they are in Rocky Mount or Tarboro. This faculty member is devoted to the college and participates in a number of committees. He is the advisor for an active club on campus and recently advised students in the Skills USA competition in Greensboro. To put it simply, the 2015 Excellence in Teaching Award recipient truly believes in students first at ECC. Please join the foundation in congratulating Mr. Rick Basil. the State Board of Community Colleges initiated the Staff Award. This program recognizes excellent performance and commitment to the community college mission by non-teaching staff. Edgecombe Community College has selected a Staff Award recipient based on the following. Consistent, excellent performance on the job. Initiative, innovation, and leadership in the workplace. Responsible, efficient use of time, money, technology, personnel, and other resources. Attention to professional and personal development. And willingness to share time and expertise through service to the institution, the students, and the community. Today, the Edgecombe Community College Foundation is recognizing the 2015 Edgecombe Community College Staff Award recipient, Karen Andrews. It is with pleasure that the ECC Foundation recognizes the 2015 Staff Award winner. This hardworking staff member exhibits a high degree of initiative and innovation and leadership. Fellow employees say this staff member is honest and direct. She exhibits a genuine interest in discussions and kindly offers constructive criticism. Co-workers use her as a sounding board, respecting her ability to organize thoughts and ideas and put information together 
that is clear to employees, students, and the public. She can be depended on to accomplish an assignment on time, on budget, and with integrity. Since joining the ECC family in January of 2003, she has overseen many changes at the college. The redesign of the ECC logo, marketing for the performance series that takes place in this very auditorium, the design of the yearly president's report, and the student handbook, just to name a few. All have been orchestrated by this person. Though this person is not often seen walking across campus, she has touched all of our lives by the superior marketing and informational material that represents ECC. Please join the foundation in saluting the 2015 Edgecombe Community College Staff Award winner, Mary Tom Bass. Community College is very fortunate and privileged to have a graduating class whose members have performed well academically while proving themselves to be outstanding leaders. Many of our graduates are worthy of special recognition. You will see in your program those uh, students who have been selected for membership in Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and who's who among students in American universities and colleges. At this time, I would uh, ask that those students please stand. The Dallas Harry Achievement Award was established to recognize students who embody the philosophy of the late Dr. Dallas Harry the founder of the North Carolina Community College system. Ms. Mona Brinkley is the Edgecombe Community College 2015 nominee for this award. After she was unexpectedly laid off in 2013, after working many years in the printing industry, Ms. Brinkley returned to school at Edgecombe to study nursing. She is on schedule to receive her diploma in practical nursing in August of this year. She plans to continue her nursing education here and become a registered nurse. Ms. Brinkley has made the most of her time here at Edgecombe. She is an ECC Foundation student ambassador, an officer of the Student Honor Society, a work-study student in the library, the student advisor to the library board. She has attained a GPA of 3.7. Ms. Brinkley, please come forward. Each year, the North Carolina Community College System honors 58 students for their academic achievements. Mr. Andre Cooper is the 2015 North Carolina Community College Academic Excellence Award recipient from ECC. Mr. Cooper has served two terms as president of the Student Government Association, a business administration major. He is an ECC Foundation student ambassador, a member of the Student Honor Society, and a volunteer member to second graders at Stocks Elementary School. In 2013, he received a, received a national award for pub, public speaking from the Future Business Leaders of America. The title of the speech was Dream Big. Mr. Cooper is making his own big dreams come true. 
He works full-time at MVM Corporation in Rocky Mound, and, ju and just last November was promoted to the position of floor supervisor. Mr. Cooper has attained a GPA of 3.26. He will receive a certificate, a plaque, and a medallion, a medallion signifying his Academic Excellence Award. Mr. Cooper, if you would please come forward. The Governor Robert W. Scott Student Leadership Award was established to recognize a student who has de demonstrated exemplary leadership. Mr. James Patrick Phillips has excelled in this area. A computer technology integration major, he already holds two degrees from Edgecombe, an Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. In April, Mr. Phillips received the a first place award in the State Skills USA competition. He and a fellow student demonstrated how solar energy can supplement the power of an unmanned aerial device, thereby greatly extending his flight time. Next month, he will compete at the National Skills U USA competition in Louisville, Kentucky. Mr. Phillips is an ECC Foundation stu student ambassador, a new student orientation leader, an officer in the Student Honor Society, and a tutor in information technology. He has earned a GPA of 3.91. Mr. Phillips, would you please come forward? As we are proud of all of our students, Ms. Brinkley, Mr. Cooper, and Ms. Mr. Phillips, and we wish them a great success in their future. Let us now recognize our Student Government Association officers. Would you please stand? Our graduates who are officers are wearing a red satin stole that is embroidered with SGA officer in gold. We'll all, oh, I'm sorry. Oh God, I got ahead of myself, excuse me. Let us also recognize our veterans who are graduating. They are wearing a double American cord that is red, white, and blue. Would veterans, all veterans, would all veterans please stand? CEO of the North Carolina Association of Community Development Corporations. Ms. Cole, who lives in Rocky Mount, has served as president and CEO of the association since 1999. The organization serves as North Carolina's trade association for community development corporations, working in all phases of their growth. For 13 years, she served as executive director of Legal Aid of North Carolina, a six-county rural legal aid organization. Prior to joining the North Carolina Association of Community Development Corporations, Ms. Cole was the Assistant Secretary for Community Development with the North Carolina Development Department of Commerce. In addition, she served as Legislative Staff Director for Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm. A native of Providence, Rhode Island, Ms. Cole received her undergraduate and law degrees from Rutgers University. 
Please join me in welcoming the President and the CEO of the North Carolina Association of Community Development Corporations, Susan Perry Cole. Thank you. I'm honored to be with you today for this commencement from one of the finest educational institutions in North Carolina. Today I want to tell you three stories from my life and then I'll be done. The first story is about making the wrong choice that turns out to be right. When I was about eight years old, growing up in Providence, Rhode Island, located about 700 miles from Tarboro, I discovered quite by accident through two events that reading great books was the price of admission to purchase a ticket as a passenger on a magic carpet that could take you anywhere you wanted to go in life. First of all, my grandmother gifted me with a book called 50 Famous Fairy Tales. I devoured that book like a starving kid presented with an ice cream sundae with chocolate fudge sauce and nuts on a hot summer day. I read the stories in that book about princesses and castles and faraway lands over and over and over again until I practically memorized most of those tales by heart. I didn't know it then, but I was becoming addicted to reading. Secondly, the visiting librarian who often came to our, uh, our elementary school and who told absolutely captivating stories from children's books encouraged our students to come to the local library and get a library card so that we could read more of these fabulous books. Later, when I asked my mother to sign the library enrollment card, she said, we don't have any money to pay for books that your little brother and sister might tear up. So she refused to give permission to my older sister and me to obtain a library card. That denial, of our, uh, that denial led to our neighborhood gang's weekly Saturday adventure, walking two to three miles each way to the local library and reading all the books we could cram into our brains during our afternoon visits. Looking back now, I see how these two events inadvertently ignited my passion for learning and fueled my lifelong appetite for reading. And so 10 years later, after all that reading, I developed a lovely vision for myself. I would leave Rhode Island permanently by enrolling in an out-of-state college somewhere, a place where there would be plenty of bright lights, Everyone would be sophisticated, good-looking, prosperous, and leading very fascinating lives. But I naively chose a college that was about as far away from my romantic vision as anybody could get and still remain in the United States. Why did I choose the Newark Satellite Camp campus of Rutgers University in New Jersey? Primarily for tuition. Of course, my family had no money to pay for college tuition. So I was too green to understand that the reason for the bargain basement tuition at the Newark campus was the lack of dormitory facilities on this urban-based college. However, to my experienced 18-year-old eyes, heavily shaded, by the way, with rose-colored glasses, which I kept firmly strapped to the back of my head back then, knew it looked like freedom to me and the beginning of an exciting college career. What I didn't know and what I couldn't have imagined in the fall of 1966 was how quickly my whole vision would be transformed into a nightmare of barbaric proportions. An area not very far from the one bedroom apartment I shared with two other freshman girls became the epicenter of one of the most severe civil disturbances in American history, a spasm of racially steeped violence and destruction that began one hot July evening in Newark in 1967 and ended five days later with 26 deaths, 1,100 injured, 
1,600 arrested, and $10 million in damage. In light of the recent civil unrest in Ferguson and Baltimore, let me share with you a unified view from scholars after decades of research concerning what led to the explosion in Newark. Scholars say the 60s civil disturbances were not spontaneous. They had deep roots in a powder keg of anger arising from more than 100 years of state and local policy decisions. The decisions had to do with urban planning, housing, and transportation that made America's suburbs flourish while systematically devastating its inner cities, Newark more so than most. I wonder if this historical perspective can inform our emerging national conversation about the root causes and solutions to the rioting in American cities today. For me, the Newark insurrection was life-changing. One reality deeply penetrated my psyche and has guided all of my life choices ever since. As Martin Luther King stated in 1960, the racial issue that we confront in America is not sectional, but a national problem. Injustice everywhere, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Therefore, no American can afford to be apathetic about the problem of racial justice. It is a problem that meets every man at his front door. Some might say that attending Rutgers Newark over 40 years ago was a serious error based on ignorance about higher education choices. Honestly, it was pretty terrifying back then, hearing the automatic gunfire from snipers, guns, through my bedroom window, seeing heavily armed military personnel driving back and forth along the streets in my neighborhood, and witnessing the confusion surrounding the tragic loss of people's lives and the smoldering destruction of so much property. But looking back, I know enrolling in Rutgers Newark was the best decision I ever made. Through this selection, I learned what the writer and producer, Bob Rahal, has said. The path to our destination is not always a straight one. We go down the wrong road, we get lost, we turn back. Maybe it doesn't matter which road we embark on. Maybe what really matters is that we embark. My second story is about the need to keep on pushing. You know, I've been very fortunate. During my professional career, I've had mentors that have guided my professional entry in some, into some of the nation's most elite halls of power and prestige. While I was living in Washington, D.C., the first African-American woman ever elected to the U.S. House of Representatives, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, opened the door for me to serve as her legislative staff director. I was barely 30 years old. But within 36 months, I was facing being fired from a new job I accepted in North Carolina. Now how can such a reversal of professional fortunes occur? Well, first of all, I was frustrated with gridlock in Washington and a shift in the political landscape at the federal level had occurred. So I decided to accept a new job in North Carolina. And that was a job as CEO of a newly created legal services program right here in Eastern North Carolina. Legal services programs provide free legal assistance in civil matters to low-income persons who cannot afford the services of private attorneys. The chair of my organization's board of directors was a former football player, easily weighing well over 250 pounds with an outsized strong personality to match. He was the son of a prominent and well-respected local family. And believe me, this man was physically intimidating and very skilled at dominating personal encounters. 
And here I was with my little eager beaver self, without any experience in living in the rural South, an uppity, aggressive woman with a northern accent to boot, straight out of a job in federal government and moving at warp speed. I spent too little time back then considering the impression I was making on those around me, and I was way too busy crafting my own agenda and uh, to take the time to build the network of relationships with local leaders so important to long-term success. Obviously, and I think you see where this is going, the deck was stacked. For the first year or so, things went well, but then our visions, of the future, mine and the board chairs began to diverge. Before you knew it, a running battle was underway. When the leadership conflict emerged, it split our board of directors into factions. One faction decided the best way to resolve the conflict was to fire me. I had no prior experience with an employer questioning my motives or questioning my professional competency and integrity. I was so unprepared to be publicly rebuked and rejected by the local leaders. It was devastating to my ego and to my self-confidence. Frankly, I began to doubt myself. It seemed that every decision I made was wrong. Every action I took seemed to trigger a larger avalanche of criticism and negative feedback from those I reported to. Most of all, I was terrified of failing. I carried on a running debate within my own head about how to cut and run back to the safety and security of Washington, D.C., where I was loved and respected by a broad circle of friends and professional colleagues. Eventually, I decided to stay the course. Intuitively, somehow I knew that it was much more important for me to stay here and, and I could gain much in terms of character development by staying the course. If I hadn't stayed in North Carolina, I would have missed the opportunity years later to be appointed by Governor Jim Hunt as Assistant Secretary of Commerce, the state's lead economic development agency. So this experience taught me a valuable lesson that Dale Carnegie has written about. Here's what he said. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying where there seems to be no hope at all. But I like the way the songwriter and singer Curtis Mayfield put it in his song, Keep On Pushing. You millennials don't know who Curtis Mayfield is, but there's a few people in the audience with gray hair like me who might remember him. Here's what Curtis sang in his song. I've got to keep on pushing. I can't stop now. Move up a little higher, some way, somehow. Cause I've got my strength and it don't make sense not to keep on pushing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, keep on pushing. My third story is about recognizing that everybody has to die, but only a few persons really live. Now that I'm approaching 70 and have become a card-carrying AARP member, I'm beginning to take time to get a perspective on the true trajectory my life has taken. I've come to realize the best part of life's journey is enjoying the ride, even the bumps along the way. A guy named Nathaniel Brandon put it this way, how do we keep the inner fire alive? Two things at minimum are needed an ability to appreciate the positives in our life, and a commitment to action. Every day, it's important to ask these questions. What's good in my life, and what needs to be done? Well, I'm still in love with my work. I'm still fortunate enough to be can continue to be the bride of a man I married 35 years ago. Everything I do these days is more intentional. I have to make sure I devote my attention to the things that matter most, like building my faith and prayer life, spending more time with family and friends, and being focused on just a few critical tasks. Let me share a few comments with you about one of the tasks which I enjoy 
recently being a participant in. Over the last several years, I've worked to provide leadership to a regional economic development process, a joint undertaking of Nash, Edgecombe counties and the city of Rocky Mountain. The planning process was launched to create a shared vision and a prosperous future for all of the area's residents. One of the regional goals in this planning process is improved health and mental health. As part of the regional planning process, a study of key challenges was also completed in 2010. The study revealed deep inequities in health outcomes among North Carolina's 100 counties. As recent as 2015, a review of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation's county health rankings revealed that Edgecombe County ranked 97th out of the 100 counties on health factors and 99th on social and economic factors. The 2010 study rightly concluded that our region's unhealthy lifestyles would serve as a deterrent to future growth and prosperity. Edgecombe Community College is a leader in working to overcome our region's health challenges. The college now has under construction in downtown Rocky Mount a new 45,000 square foot facility called the Biotechnology and Medical Simulation Center. This construction will usher in the latest model for healthcare education, which is realistic training through the use of simulation, patient simulation. One of the greatest changes in today's job market is occurring in the healthcare field. According to a recent article in the New York Times, 1.4 million jobs in healthcare paid middle class wages, $40,000 to $80,000 in today's money. Now, now that figure is 4.5 million. The healthcare field is a growing gateway to a stable career path. This sector is one of the few green shoots in a still struggling local economy. Edgecombe Community College is in the forefront of preparing students for these emerging healthcare opportunities. The cornerstone of the new downtown facility is a simulated hospital environment. Rooms will be set up to function like emergency rooms, operating rooms, ICU units, nurses' stations, and the back of an ambulance. I'm so proud of the important work that Edgecombe Community College is doing. Let's give them a hand. Now, as you got graduate and start your own career path, let me leave you with these parting words spoken by Apple founder Steve Jobs. Your time is limited. Don't waste it living someone else's life. And don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. Most important, most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Thank you very much. for those inspiring remarks. Edgecombe Community College is presenting certificates of career readiness to all graduates who took the Work Keys assessment. Work Keys is an industry-based skills assessment that measures real-world skills critical to job success. Students have the opportunity to obtain a platinum, bronze, silver, or gold credential in three areas reading for information, applied mathematics, and locating information. 90% of all occupations utilize these three areas. This portable credential enables employers to correlate the student or applicant skill set with the skills required for the job. 90% of the graduates took the assessment as part of their program of study. Most importantly, our graduates will have an edge over the competitors in the job market because they'll be able to present to prospective employers not only a diploma, but also a certificate of career readiness. 
Edgecombe Community College is striving to do its part to ensure the prepared workforce, both locally and regionally. Dr. Edomite. It is my honor to announce each graduate as they cross the stage. A gentle reminder to the audience, please refrain from your applause until each candidate has crossed the stage. Willie Marshalls, please present the candidates for graduation. Christopher Doughty, accounting degree, business administration degree, business leadership certificate, and Excel certificate. Lathan Earl Hyman, Jr., accounting degree. Christy Davina Jeffries, accounting degree. Amanda Lorraine Sproul, Accounting Degree, Excel Certificate. Keisha Atkinson, Associate in Arts Degree. Keisha! Anthony Dorsey Batts, Associate in Arts Degree. Joni Bloom, Associate in Arts Degree. Jose Luis Botello, Associate in Arts Degree, Associate in Science Degree, Pre-Engineering Degree. Jocelyn Delia Braswell, Associate in Arts Degree, Associate in Science Degree. Emma Lee Elise Bridgers, Associate in Arts Degree, Associate in Science Degree. Zachary Bridgers, Associate in Arts Degree, Associate in Science Degree. Molly Nicole Briley, Associate in Arts Degree, Associate in Science Degree. Elizabeth Lee Brock, Associate in Arts Degree. Joy Renee Butler, Associate in Arts Degree. Alexis Nache Bynum, Associate in Arts Degree. Cal Mackenzie Clark, Associate in Arts Degree. Floresita Cruz, Associate in Arts Degree, Associate in Science Degree. Deborah Barrett Dozier, Associate in Arts Degree. Derek Edwards, Associate in Arts degree. Ashley Nicole Hardy, Associate in Arts degree. Jonathan Wade Harris, Associate in Arts degree. Jennifer Lacey Hines, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. Aaron Damon Johnson, Associate in Arts degree. John Hardy Kennedy, Jr., Associate in Arts degree. Christy B. Lake, Associate in Arts degree. Scarlett Lee Marks, Associate in Arts degree. Yeah. 
Shayla Crystal Morales Alarcon, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. Quandre Powell, Associate in Arts degree. Jamie Jesus Rea, Associate in Arts degree. Mallory Elizabeth Redman, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. Abina Luis Reynolds, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. Matthew Caleb Rose, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. Corey Rad Roundtree, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. Perry Satterthwaite, Associate in Arts degree. Brittany Inez Simon, Associate in Arts degree. Korshunda Tanaya Smith, Associate in Arts degree. Tanji Sierra Staten, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. Stephen M. Tyrell, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. Brianna Walston, Associate in Arts degree. Brinquita Natasia Sion, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. <coughs> Tiffany Dom Webb, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. Ruth Naomi Whitehead, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree. Phyllis Williams, Associate in Arts degree. Kane Edward Wilson, Associate in Arts degree. Peter Alexander Butler, Associate in Science degree. Kivana Hall, Associate in Science degree. Angela Hobbs, Associate in Science degree. Jeffrey Adams, Business Administration Degree, Accounting Diploma, Business Leadership Certificate. Andrea Carr, Business Administration Degree. Kelly Lynn Ellis, Business Administration Degree. Wanda Mask Green, Business Administration Degree. Angela P. Harris, Business Administration Degree, Accounting Diploma, Business Administration Diploma. Ava B. Hinton, Business Administration Degree, Accounting Diploma, QuickBooks Certificate. Walter Johnson, Business Administration Degree. Jenny L. Lancaster, Business Administration Degree, Business Leadership Certificate. Claudia Latanya Therese May, Business Administration Degree, Business Leadership Certificate. Judy Faye Parker, Business Administration Degree, Logistics Certificate. Regina Antoinette Pugh, Business Administration Degree, Business Leadership Certificate. Michael Russ, Business Administration Degree. Kristen Renee Simpson, Business Administration Degree, Accounting Diploma, Business Leadership Certificate, Excel Certificate.
Eugenia Jones Wade, Business Administration Degree. Tony Cornelius Carter, Jr., Computer Information Technology Degree. Latrice Tyer Lloyd, Computer Information Technology Degree. Christopher Smith, Computer Information Technology Degree. Nicholas Drew Johnson, Computer Technology Integration Degree. James Patrick Phillips, Computer Technology Integration Degree, Desktop Support Certificate, Network Support Certificate. Janae Demetria Boyce, Criminal Justice Technology Degree. Wendy K. Bradbury, Criminal Justice Technology Degree. Tomlin Jaquette Drawn, Criminal Justice Technology Degree. Roderick Antonio Hines, Criminal Justice Technology Degree. Kristen Nicole Hull, Criminal Justice Technology Degree. Melissa Hudson Moore, Criminal Justice Technology Degree, Crime Assessment Certificate. William Russell Moore, Criminal Justice Technology Degree, Crime Assessment Certificate, Criminal Justice Technology Certificate. Rebecca Taylor, Criminal Justice Technology Degree, Crime Assessment Certificate. Mary Thorne, Criminal Justice Technology Degree. Lane Andrews, Early Childhood Education Degree, School Age Education Degree. Beverly Armstrong, Early Childhood Education Degree. Portia Shanae Avery, Early Childhood Education Degree. Stacy Nicole Baker, Early Childhood Education Degree. Brittany Latrice Battle, Early Childhood Education Degree. Alicia Dupree Revis, Early Childhood Education Degree. Sharon English Whitaker, Early Childhood Education Degree. Kimberly Hudson, Early Childhood Education Degree. Monica Danielle Jones, Early Childhood Education Degree. Laquisha Shanette Mabry, Early Childhood Education Degree. Nabulanji Zawadi Satterwhite, Early Childhood Education Degree. Crystal Smith, Early Childhood Education Degree. Jasmine Monique Smith, Early Childhood Education Degree. Aishaniqua Levita White, Early, Early Childhood Education Degree. Melissa Pittman Williams, Early Childhood Education Degree. Dom Suggs Woodard, Early Childhood Education Degree. John R. Manning, Geospatial Technology Degree, Geographic Information Science Certificate, Internet Mapping Services Certificate. Dana Good Adams, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma.
Tunisia Linda Bullock, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Peggy J. Daniels Odin, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Aletha Gale Davis, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Melanie J. Goff Bradley, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Crystal Dawn Joyner, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Wanda Perry, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Kara Pittman, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Sharla Marquita Richardson, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Jennifer Tomiko Robertson, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Robin L. Taylor, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Teresa Gale Telfor, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Kimberly S. Yelverton, Health Information Technology Degree, Coding Diploma. Angela Juanita Bagley, Health Human Services Technology Degree. Jawanda Barnes, Human Services Technology Degree, Substance Abuse Certificate. Xavia Rochelle Brock, Human Services Technology Degree, Substance Abuse Certificate. Felicia A. Cherry, Human Services Technology Degree. Joseph C. Collins, Human Services Technology Degree. Sonia Lynette Gray, Human Services Technology Degree. Janet Cornell Martin, Human Services Technology Degree. Latasha Murray, Human Services Technology Degree. Latricia Chanel Randolph, Human Services Technology Degree. Idella Richardson, Human Services Technology Degree. Vanessa B. Richardson, Human Services Technology Degree. Rena O. Simmons, Human Services Technology Degree. Angelia Harper Wooder, Human Services Technology Degree, Substance Abuse Certificate. Judy Kennan, Manufacturing Technology Degree. Marissa Beckwith, Medical Assisting Degree. Julissa Renee Debro, Medical Assisting Degree. Mary Beth Gray Harris, Medical Assisting Degree. Gloria Johnice Howard, Medical Assisting Degree.
Josephine Oguara Ogama, Medical Assisting Degree. Juanita W. Phillips, Medical <laughs> Assisting Degree. Melanie Phillips, Medical Assisting Degree. Shanene Brianna Silver, Medical Assisting Degree. Ebony Claudette Smith, Medical Assisting Degree. Latanya Dimitrik Whitehead, Medical Assisting Degree. Keisha D. Adkins, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Billing Certificate. Ventrice Raquel Dancy, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Billing Certificate, Office Skills Certificate, Office Software Certificate. Quisha Michelle Deans, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Office Coding Certificate, Office Skills Certificate. <coughs> Jessica Nicole Dickens, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Office Coding Certificate, Office Skills Certificate, Office Software Certificate. Cassandra Nicole Highsmith, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Billing Certificate, Office Skills Certificate. Kashina Elise Horton, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Office Coding Certificate. Sade Natasha Hudgens, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Billing Certificate. Quinetta Johnson, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Billing Certificate, Office Software Certificate. Tamisha R. Pender, Medical Office Administration Degree, Office Skills Certificate. Jalisa Renee Randolph, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Billing Certificate, Medical Office Coding Certificate. Ebony Statton, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Billing Certificate. Tanisha Danielle White, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Billing Certificate, Medical Office Coding Certificate. Shakitia LaShawn Dixon Williams, Medical Office Administration Degree, Medical Billing Certificate. Melissa Shirley Baker, Associate Degree Nursing. Shay Colleen Barnes, Associate Degree Nursing. Ashley Lynn Braswell, Associate Degree Nursing. Kia Antoinette Hedgepeth, Associate Degree Nursing. Damika Latasha Herndon, Associate Degree Nursing. Shaniqua Spearman Hines, Associate Degree Nursing. Elizabeth Johnson Mayo, Associate Degree Nursing. <laughs> Brittany Joyner Poitras, Associate Degree Nursing. Quinta T. Slade, Associate Degree Nursing. 
Ashley Brooke Sutton, Associate Degree, Nursing. Alan L. Tyree, Associate Degree, Nursing. Christy Waller, Associate Degree, Nursing. Kayla Shea Waller, Associate Degree, Nursing. Courtney Gray Wood, Associate Degree, Nursing. Sonia Elizabeth Wynn, Associate Degree, Nursing. Teresa Diane Batts, Office Administration Degree, Office Skills Certificate, Office Software Certificate. June Bernadette Cox, Office Administration Degree, Office Skills Certificate, Office Software Certificate. Christopher Maurice Davis, Office Administration Degree, Office Skills Certificate, Office Software Certificate. Tuesday, Nicole Jefferson, Office Administration Degree, Office Skills Certificate, Office Software Certificate. Jessica Denise Petaway, Office Administration Degree. Alexander John Derby, Pre-Engineering Degree. Charles Harrison Taus, Pre-Engineering Degree. Ezekiel Masso, Pre-Engineering Degree. Stacy Lee Bass, Radiography Degree. Candace Daltridge, Radiography Degree. Ashley Nicole Burke, Radiography Degree. Samantha Marie Farr, Radiography Degree. Courtney Renee Harper, Radiography Degree. Miranda Ray Richardson, Radiography Degree. Kelsey Brooke Ross, Radiography Degree. Teresa Kyle Ross Rand, Radiography Degree. Amanda Danielle Smith, Radiography Degree. Melissa Dawn Strait, Radiography Degree. James Watson, Radiography Degree. Brandy Potter Weber, Radiography Degree. Lauren Elizabeth Whitehead, Radiography Degree. Christina Jewel Williams, Radiography Degree. Jessica Pesic Acock, Respiratory Therapy Degree. Thomas Bierman, Respiratory Therapy Degree. Justin Tyler Cook, Respiratory Therapy Degree. Clark Curie, Respiratory Therapy Degree, winner of the Mallinckrodt Curitan Bennett Outstanding Student of the Year Award. <coughs> Leslie Michelle Francesco, Respiratory Therapy Degree. Megan Brooke Harrelson, Respiratory Therapy Degree. Shabra Janelle Jenkins, Respiratory Therapy Degree. Bethany Page Lilly, Respiratory Therapy Degree. Brittany Nicole Riggs, Respiratory Therapy Degree.
Stephen George Rose, Jr., respiratory therapy degree. Ikea Nicole Burnett, school age education certificate. Brittany Paige Harris, school age education degree. Latoya Danielle Heath, school age education degree. Kiana Nicole Jones, school age education degree. Yolanda Whitfield Lewis, school age education degree. Shakina Andrews Mitchell, school age education degree. Jasmine Mooring, school age education degree. Michael Travis Pittman, school age education degree. Ashley Renee Poland, school age education degree. Michelle Denise Sworn, school age education degree. Delmonica Cheyenne Vick, school age education degree. Let's work. Thomas Lee Bolton, Jr., Automotive Kudo. Systems Technology Diploma. Kudo. James Andrew Cradle, Automotive Systems Technology Diploma, Collision Repair and Refinishing Technology Diploma. Charles Stephen Dupree, Automotive Systems Technology Diploma. Maurice M. Avent, Barbering Diploma. Jamie Leanne Grant, Business Administration Diploma, Business Leadership Certificate. Monique Davis, Business Administration Diploma, Business Leadership Certificate. Quentin J. Braswell, Business Administration Diploma. Teresa LaShonda Taylor, Business Administration Diploma. Kevin Arthur Hines, Collision Repair and Refinishing Technology Diploma, Non-Structural Damage Certificate, Painting and Refinishing Certificate. Sarah Catherine Epps, Cosmetology Diploma. Kelly Finch, Cosmetology Diploma. Ayana Goddard Carter, Cosmetology Diploma. Dina Gray, Cosmetology Diploma. Sophia Grove, Cosmetology Diploma. Kelsey Taylor Potton, Cosmetology Diploma. Tina Faye Henderson, Cosmetology Diploma. Tracy Michelle Higgs, Cosmetology Diploma. Maisha Danielle Hopkins, Cosmetology Diploma. Carol Jamise Johnson, Cosmetology Diploma. Toshima Moore, Cosmetology Diploma. George Mosqueda, Cosmetology Diploma. Larry Newkirk, Jr., Cosmetology Diploma. 
Ranessa Reynolds, Cosmetology Diploma. Takia Chantel Whitehead, Cosmetology Diploma. Tomika Williams, Cosmetology Diploma. Janatus Shelton Ray, Electrical Electronics Technology Diploma. Donche Chanrel Batea, Electrical Systems Technology Diploma. Christopher Thomas Warren, Electrical Systems Technology Diploma. Victor Angel Ramirez, Collision Repair and Refinishing Technology Diploma, Non-Structural Damage Certificate, Painting and Refinishing Certificate. Tracinda Amara Bachelor, Magnetic Resonance Imaging Diploma. Rachel Charlene Maynard, Magnetic Resonance Imaging Diploma. Christina Jane Wilkins, Magnetic Resonance Imaging Diploma. Kathy L. Wooder Coley, Certificate, Business Leadership. Jonathan Edwards, Business Leadership Certificate. Angel McAllister, Computed Tomography Technology Certificate. Sonia N. Macklin, Crime Assessment Certificate, Criminal Justice Technology Certificate. Marjorie Del Carmen, Early Childhood Education Certificate. Jeanette Drew, Early Childhood Education Certificate. Beverly Frazier, Early Childhood Education Certificate. Jessica Hudgens Pitt, Early Childhood Education Certificate. Erica Jimenez, Aesthetics Technology Certificate. Patra Lacara Smith, Aesthetics Technology Certificate. Suzanne Costner Ostwald, Geographic Information Science Certificate, Internet Mapping Services Certificate. Brad Stephen Armstrong, Logistics Management Certificate. <laughs> Tiffany Taylor, Medical Billing Certificate, Medical Office Coding Certificate. Evelyn Pittman Williams, Office Skills Certificate, Office Software Certificate. Jessica Yolanda Williams, Medical Billing Certificate. Carlene Edwards, Office Skills Certificate. Kina Lurleen Avent, Adult High School Equivalency. Joaquin Montrez Block, Adult High School Equivalency. Tama Bolton, Adult High School Equivalency. Kizzy Larika Whitehead, Office Skills Certificate.
Gregory O'Neill Caudill. Marcus Terrell Clark, Adult High School Equivalency. Stacy Borskowski, Adult High School Equivalency Career Readiness. Alexis Saviance Hawkins, Adult High School Equivalency. Sierra Johnson, Adult High School. Teddy Christopher Stamatis, Adult High School Equivalency. <coughs> Ada Olivia Thompson, Adult High School. candidates have completed their required courses of study. of Edgecombe Community College and the State Board of Community Colleges, I do hereby declare these candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates as graduates of Edgecombe Community College. Graduates, you may turn your tassels. Please give them enough. 
enough sun to keep their attitudes bright, enough rain so they appreciate the sun more, enough happiness to keep their spirits alive, enough pain so their smallest joys appear much bigger, enough gain to satisfy their wanting, enough loss to appreciate all they possess, and enough hope and faith to ensure that they have peace and comfort in their hearts. And now may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And may the blessings of God abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.